on a YouTube video which claims that Typhoon Yolanda was man-made. The speaker in the video, who introduced himself as Dutch Sins, said microwave pulses from radar installations triggered the typhoon. Here are excerpts from that video. A lot of people are asking me if I think that this current storm that's hitting the Philippines is man-made or being controlled. And I'm going to have to respond with a confident yes. Again, a confident yes that these storms are being man-made and possibly fully controlled on their paths to where their final destinations are. Here Hello, you two. How y'all doing? Well, this morning or last night uh, when I put this blog out it was three three hours before the blog's been out a few hours but um, this particular video right here is a scientist actually trying to debunk uh, me and Dutch Sense mainly Dutch Sense but he's showed the blog in the wrong aspect to the scientist and we're gonna go down here to the bottom and I'm gonna show you right here this is the actual storm right there now see the rotation of the storm now you're gonna see it again zap and then it starts spinning that's non-deniable the scientist did not see that one he saw the one where the storm was going on land and the one that we had discovered that happened yesterday not the previous storm now I don't know why Everybody wants to deny weather modification, but this is aluminum that they spray in the air. When you put aluminum in water, it creates hydrogen for a short period of time for oxidation. This is an experiment that I've done with a ham radio and an amplifier, as you see the plasma coming off the antenna. I have done the experiment, dude you're wrong you don't know what the hell you're talking about for a scientist you didn't sound very intelligent and why did you keep asking the guy to turn up his microphone twice when he asked you the question about this particular anomaly because you was waiting on an answer from one of your friends or buddies to give you the right answer to explain why it started turning really dude I mean I just don't get it why do y'all want to lie about this particular thing it's looking as if maybe y'all done it to your own people now I don't know it's just a thought I don't know I don't care I just want all of it to stop around the world period we got too many cell phones that transmit on microwave frequencies we got too many high voltage power lines up in the air that transmit also transmit a radio frequency wave throughout the whole spectrum and it causes cancer you know it causes cancer I know it causes cancer but they told you to lie so everybody would believe you because you're a scientist really and you're talking about physics you know I am so tired of people throwing that word physics out when they don't even understand what the word means people physics is a a mathematical equation that can be changed manipulated and never come up with the same answer if you manipulate it so how do we know that physics isn't a conspiracy theory to start with really I mean are you really gonna say that to me I mean how intelligent do you have to be to bring up physics to scare people into believing you physics is a fear-mongering word in my opinion because 
People go to school to learn physics. Really? And how many times has physics been changed because the formula was wrong and they created something new because the formula was wrong? If you look it up, I'm sure you're going to find a whole bunch. And you're a scientist? Really? Come on, man. Anybody that's got a brain in their head and has done any studying, I mean just a little, knows that that's crazy. But no, some of you just have to say what you want to say and do what you want to do. But anyway, uh, just to let you know, this is a PDF right here. The UN uh, Weather Weapon Treaty. Really? Uh, yeah, okay, but there ain't no such thing. Really? Are you sure about that? I don't think so. And this right here demonstrates exactly, and it was on the History Channel, really now, and you ain't got enough gumption about yourself to see that this works? Oh, it was done in a test. It was done in a tube to show you that they can manipulate Moisture in the air with radio frequency wave. Doesn't matter what kind, heart, doesn't matter if it's a CB radio, a ham radio, it doesn't matter what kind, they can manipulate the moisture in the tube and make it raise. Now, that was just a hundred watts. Think about a whole bunch of watts. Really? I mean, come on, man. Come on. Can't you even debunk it better than that? I mean, you sound like, um, uh, what's that dadgum group's name? Ah, oh, hell, I can't even remember. I'm so mad. Look, guy, all I'm trying to do is protect your people. I really am. You have 10,000 people died, dude. 10,000. Or suggested died. 900 confirmed at my last check. But 10,000 missing. Really? Come on, man. We're not trying to hurt you or tell you no lie. We're trying to tell you the truth. Now, this is the one that you use to say the anomaly. And here's the storm. And you can see the storm going through right there. But there's an anomaly down here. You're talking about the storms already passed. We're not talking about this one. We were talking about the one on the bottom. That you got wrong, of course. Again. And you also said that Dutch Sense didn't put his name out there. The author was Dutch Sense. You go to his, U, his Facebook page and you'll see that his name. I'm not going to blurt it out. I mean, everybody else has, and I'm going to give him the honor of letting him do it himself. Because he's not scared to let you know who he is. His name was on there somewhere. You could have found it. There's no problem with you finding it. You didn't want to find it at all. If you had it, you would have found it, but you didn't. Now, I've blurted out another one, and this is his newest video, okay? This one right here is another new video, which states in this video, you can see there's another anomaly, which is an arch, and then a scalar square. And y'all know what a scalar square is. I know you do. You know how I know you know? Because you're lying. You know that the military has a word for it. It's called scalar something. Okay? Point being, you're lying. We're telling the truth. But why would you lie? Can't figure that one out. Really can't. Just irritates me. And this is his video that he put out. And this is the guy that asked him uh, for the information. And here's the storm. Ain't that terrible? I mean, can't you see? Really? And then here's your video. I'm, I'm promoting it. I want everybody to come over and look at your lives, man. I really do. I want them to come. I want you to come over and look, cause I'm not gonna put your video up like you did Dutch sense, and then try to crucify him. I'm crucifying you on my blog. So 
Get her done, boys. Look at here. Much love to all of y'all. And if you believe this scientist that's talking about physics and this reporter and all of their... I don't even know what you call what they done. It sounded like Metabunk to me. That's exactly what Metabunk does all the time. And they have no scientific proof. They debunk, listen to me, they debunk Nicholas Tesla that everybody uses every day of their life. It's called alternating current. But they debunked him. Really? Much love to y'all. Y'all have a great day now, you hear? Hey there, YouTube. Uh, I'll try to keep this brief. Um, having to deal with a lot of my own things here. Uh, but there's been a lot of question about what happened with this storm up there in the Philippines. And killing tens of thousands of people. There is uh, now claims being made of man-made intervention or man-made weather out there. And what is to blame? You know, people will remember that uh, not too long ago, this vessel sailed out of Pearl Harbor and into the Pacific. Uh, and it was uh, a year after Fukushima. Okay, so uh, this little bad boy is out there in the Pacific and it's part of the U.S. Defense Department Ballistic Missile Defense System. Okay, this thing is a weapon of war. It does uh, modify your weather. It does create these monster storms that just kill tens of thousands of people in the Philippines. So uh, I hope you guys are really paying attention here. Okay, it's right here on Wikipedia, right here in your face. Okay, that, that thing is a monster death machine. It's a, it's a military piece of equipment that's used to do what it needs to do. It, it could make storms, it could down missiles, you could do whatever. This thing is one powerful pl piece of platform here. Okay, semi-submersible drilling rig. Conversion vessel be carried out by MFLES Yard in Brownsville, Texas. The radar mount was built and mounted on the vessel in Cubit yard in Ingleside, Texas, near Corpus Christi, so uh, then it's normally based on Attic Island in Alaska, okay, but can roam over the Pacific Ocean to detect incoming ballistic missiles. The vessel is classed by the ABS as a IMO number, blah, 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 okay. There's its uh, specs, and gets more details on what, it, uh, what you can find out here on Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, I would recommend that you guys go out maybe and, and, and edit it to say that it can manipulate weather and get some more pics of it okay saying is a death machine it just killed tens of thousands of people out there in the Philippines okay I mean people wake up look how big this monster is Okay, these are what you'd see on normal land-based radar systems. Imagine what this bad boy can do, the amount of power it can it could uh, put into the air. My goodness. Are we, are, are we watching? This thing's responsible for that storm out there, guys. The United States of America. God have mercy on us.